Here's my three tips for product photography. Tip number one, lighting. The tip is top down and then fill with reflectors. I like doing that. I have no other lights except for this one light, which also is budget friendly. I'm gonna show you the effect of the side reflector with the silver on it. So I am gonna remove it and then you notice it gets, it's dark. It's still pretty much okay. It's kind of fine, but I actually like it just cause it adds to all of the little dots that are basically on this uh, wallet here. It kind of just makes them stand out a little bit more. Tip number two, use a tripod. When you have your tripod up, you can then lower your shutter speed. Right now my shutter speed is at 1 20th of a second. F stops at 5.0, my ISO is at 640. I don't really wanna push the ISO too much more. I can, I mean it's the A7 III, um, so that can deal with the light pretty well. But if I don't have to, I won't. Here's my third tip, your budget. Doesn't matter as much as you think. I have a light that I got in a three piece set for 150 bucks. The stand is four years old, the lights four years old. That came with two other lights and stands. Uh, the two other lights work. Um, the stands wound up breaking, they're really cheap. Quality matters. Um, this was laying around, you know, I don't know if you have an easel and a whiteboard. Not everybody has that, but that's not really the point. This reflector I have over here, this was $15 on Amazon. There's a lot of things here that I'm using that are very budget friendly. One of the things I wanna show you is that I took a shot on my cell phone. I did use the pro mode on my Galaxy S10. Because it has a pro mode on there, um, I was able to kind of dial it in. Talking about budget, I wanna talk about a tripod. This is a tripod that I actually had uh, for a while. I used it for a few years. This was like $69, I think it was, or $79. Um, doing real estate photography. It got the job done. Um, links to that will be down below and all of my other equipment as well. And now I have uh, this tripod here. It's much more expensive, but I have a job doing real estate photography. And so I invested in a tripod that I really wanted over, over time. So guys, after those tips, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot of, uh, of my wallet that I have here. The cool thing about this is this wallet is made out of ostrich skin. I'm gonna use this book. And the reason why I'm using this book is because the light is pointed a little bit towards the camera because I wanted it off the background. And so I am going to use this book to actually almost create a little more of a hood for my lens so I can knock that reflection down. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, all those things, links for all the equipment and stuff like that that I've used down below. Check out Phil Keaton's website where all the stuff all he makes, I think he sells his stuff on eBay. Um, Dragonbackbone.com, uh, link for that will be down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Tethered up, ready to go. Three tips, product photography, boom. This is really stupid, this is dumb. This is, I feel dumb, I feel dumb. Do you feel me feeling dumb? I feel like you feel me feeling dumb. Can I do the focus well? I don't know if that's even focusing. Oogie. Tie jig on this thing. Should use it. This is a rip my laptop down. Hi, caught me there, minimum offenses. Don't ask me if I'm wearing shoes or not. Secret. Secret, secret, I got secret. Right. Three tips going over product photography for you guys. Three tips for product photography. Just making sure that didn't sound bad. I think I crushed it. Three Z's. Product photography Z's. Watch me with my sneezies. It's okay because I'm inside and I wear a mask during the quarantizies. What? Me, 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 me. Fantastic. Lighting is very important. Why was I going into that voice? I don't know. Okay.